out of the Trump presidency and the war of words between the president and his former aide, Omarosa Manigault Newman. She says a new recording obtained by CBS News supports her claim that the Trump campaign was worried about the existence of a possible tape of Mr. Trump using the N-word. The president has denied ever using the racial slur. CBS 4's Nicole Killian is at the White House with reaction. First I did not hear it until after I closed the book. And on CBS this morning, former White House aide Amorosa Manigault Newman says she recently heard a tape of President Trump using the N-word during his time on The Apprentice. Had I heard it while I was working in the White House, I would have left immediately. In her new book, Unhinged, Amorosa claims the Trump campaign was aware of the existence of the tape. In a recording obtained by CBS News from October 2016, Amorosa discusses the alleged existence of the tape with Lynn Patton, an assistant to Eric Trump, and former spokeswoman Katrina Pearson. I said, well, sir, can you think of any time that this might have happened? And he said, no. Well, that's not you know, true. So He goes, how do you think I should handle it? And I told him exactly what you just said, Marissa, which is, well, it depends on what scenario you're talking about. And he said, well, why don't you just go ahead and put it to bed? I he don't know it. what the scandal is. It. No, he said it. He's embarrassed. In response, Patton tweeted at CBS News saying, no one ever denied we had multiple conversations through the apprentice tape. What we refuted is having a call that Republican strategist Frank Luntz confirmed Trump said it. I've worked alongside Donald Trump for two straight years. I've never heard him say anything about that. The president denies using the N-word and has unleashed a barrage of insults at his former assistant. In a tweet Tuesday, he called Omarosa a crazed, crying lowlife and a dog and applauded his chief of staff, John Kelly, for quickly firing her. Omarosa says she taped conversations to cover her own back. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House. Omarosa's memoir is published by a division of Simon & Schuster, which is owned by CBS. And there's late word this afternoon the president's campaign has just filed an arbitration against Omarosa in New York City. The campaign alleges she breached her 2016 confidentiality agreement with the campaign. This information is just coming in. We'll have the latest on the saga tonight on CBS4 News at 5.